morning, guys. So it is just about. Sorry, I was like looking at my hair in the mirror. Mm -hmm. It's just about one, and I see a psychiatrist, or I guess my psychiatrist again. Um, so let's see how this goes, because it didn't exactly go very well last appointment. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go back to Adrian's house today, so when I get back, I just have to like pull my stuff together. Um, and that's it. I think that's pretty much it. Last night, my stomach was really bothering me last night, and um, so I had dandelion tea before I fell asleep because that's supposed to be really good with like like bloating and getting rid of like kind of like the you know just like the whatever causes like discomfort it just kind of is supposed to settle it um and I think it worked but only a little bit so I think I'm going to have to make another one of those god willing I have the dandelion tea here but yeah um I will see you guys later on Okay, so the appointment actually went really well, um, surprisingly. He, I haven't really been in the best place mentally the two times I saw him, um, and he was asking, like, oh, well, have you, have you had, like, some sort of a lifestyle change, and blah, 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 and I was just like, no, you know, there, it's been nothing different, and, um, yeah, so apparently... He looked at my blood work, and when I was in the emergency room when I had the seizure, um, they checked a lot of my um, medication levels to see if it was like um, an overdose or something, even though it wasn't. And it turns out, even though I was on, I think I only stopped taking Ativan like two days beforehand or something, I don't even know, um, my Benz, benzo, I don't know how to say the full word, but my benzo levels, so like something that would indicate my, um, like Ativan, like consumption, um, were non-existent, which is weird, because I was saying while I was taking it that, um, I didn't think I was absorbing it because I didn't really feel much of a difference, and it turns out that I had no trace of it in my system, which is really weird, um, but it's also, like, strange, too, because I said, like, you know, I didn't feel like it was doing very much. So what we're doing, actually, is um, increasing the seizure medication, which also acts as, like, a mood stabilizer. Um, we're increasing that. I see him in, like, five weeks, and he's actually... Um, I had to have the inside of my, my mouth swabbed. He's um, going to work with the insurance and um, this one company that does this. And if we can get a zero copay, they're going to send off a saliva test um, to kind of see, um, like, look at my um, genetic makeup and see, um, I guess with this, they can actually see what medications my body would respond to because it seems like I either have um, medications that don't work at all. Um, I have medications that don't work at all but have like severe side effects. Um, I have medications that help but cause worse side effects. So like if I, because my, my experience with medication hasn't really been that good. I haven't really been able to find something that really works for me. Yeah. Um, I haven't really been able to find anything that's worked for me um, in any of my doctors um so i would be able to actually have a better understanding of what would work best work best with my body um which is pretty cool uh t -t 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 -t. he cleared me to be on pain medication again on monday when i see the doctor and then um i see my neurologist tomorrow and they just kind of want me to start having um, test on to make sure that my medications are in a therapeutic range because they're thinking my body is not metab metabolizing things correctly, which I wouldn't be surprised. So, anyway, 
I just want to update you guys. I'm getting all my stuff together and I'm going to be heading to Adrian's for a few days, thank God. So, I'll see you guys soon. Hey you guys, so it's like nine. We ended up making a whole bunch of stops. We went to Whole Foods. I got like a week's worth of coconut water since that's been working really well for me. And um, we went to Stop and Shop because um, I'm gonna be meal prepping for him um, on Sunday. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just been kind of a chilled out night. I think I'm gonna watch basketball soon. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to drink this tonight. I bought this like a week ago. So we'll see. I'll let you guys know how it is. I'm having a really, really difficult night. It's like probably just about 11 and I'm just in so much pain. <laughs> And it's just really upsetting to know that, like, if I go to sleep tonight in pain, I'm gonna wake up in pain. It's not something that, like, you start feeling better after a few days. It's just like, it's hard to be okay with that, like, to come to terms, come to terms with that. So, I just have a hard night. I'll talk to you guys soon. So I'm doing a little bit better, um, it's like 1 o'clock, we stayed up to watch a basketball game, um, it's just frustrating, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to go to my pain management appointment on Monday, and it's just really frustrating, you know, like, being in pain when you go to sleep, and then, you know, like, in certain situations or with, like, normal problems, you'd wake up the next morning and most likely feel better or feel better the next day or something like that and with the type of issues I have and the type of issues like a lot of people with chronic pain have it's something you wake up to, you know, you fall asleep for um, you fall asleep in a certain amount of pain and when you wake up a lot of times you're in the same amount of pain, sometimes more, sometimes slightly less, but um, waking up pain-wise is always really hard. Um, it's like a rude awakening, and if I wake up, I, I wake up like, you know, I feel my body and I, I'm, I'm kind of forced to completely like wake up. Um, so I'm just really frustrated and um, I don't know, I haven't really, I guess, talked about medical stuff all that much recently, but, um, I'm having, pretty much every day I'm waking up and I'm, I'm pretty much counting down the hours until I can go to sleep again because of how bad the pain is. And I'm doing things like drinking teas and doing stuff with oils and baths and stuff to try to kind of counteract the pain and it's just like not it's not really even taking the edge off, so I'm just really, really frustrated, and um, definitely have cried a few times today about it, but I'm seeing my neurologist tomorrow, so I'll let you guys know how that goes, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching.